Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm just gonna do a slideshow today for people who own the uh, Canon Vixia HF R800. And if you happen to have bought the DJI Ronin SC gimbal, or you know another one of the Ronin gimbals in order to uh, increase the stabilization of footage beyond what you're gonna get with the powered image stabilization and dynamic. And if you wanna know what that stabilization looks like, please feel free to search uh, through in this channel because I've done a few stabilization tests. My opinion, the stabilization on this camcorder is not that good. Uh, whether you use it handheld, whether you use something like a a uh, scorpion bracket. I wasn't very impressed with any of the test footage I shot. The only stabilization I've been really happy with is when I use this camcorder alongside the gimbal. So just uh, that's my opinion. You can uh, make your own one, make form your own opinion. Um, so what I wanted to show again in this slideshow is just how you can accessorize this uh, kind of skeleton rig a bit. In other words, you have your Vixia, you have it on the gimbal and you want to go beyond using the kind of fairly limited built-in uh, microphone and uh, throw a bit of lighting on the scene as well. So that's what I've done here. So the first thing, and I'll show these at the end of the slideshow, is you get these um, cold shoe mounts. And I'm looking at one on Amazon here, they're $18. So I picked up two of those and I stuck one on either side of the Ronin. Uh, by default, it comes with like this kind of I think it's actually a hot shoe and it's intended for um, accessories. So I just replaced that on both sides of the camcorder with a cold shoe because that's much more useful to me. And um, that's where I'm connecting the gear into. So this is the first picture you're looking at here. This is with a, a Saramonic Cam Mic Plus out there on the left. And I'm just using 3.5 mil extension. Now, the one thing I will say is that I'm always worried that connecting a microphone even though it's like whatever a tiny bit of weight is going to throw off the calibration. Um, I haven't found that to be the case, but I have used a 3.5 mil male to female extensions just, just so that there's no pull from that uh, 3.5 mil cable on the, you know, on the camcorder that would sort of impede the operation of the gimbal. So here's what that looks like from the side, just so you guys can see. The Saramonic Cam Mic Plus is battery powered, so uh, you know, that's what you need to have. Um, your microphones in order that they'll work with this camcorder. So it's kind of a big chunky old microphone, but um, mounted down there, like where it's supposed to be mounted on the gimbal, it actually doesn't really get in the frame. Now I presume if you went all the way down, uh, panned that shot all the way down, it might get in the frame line. Um, for the kind of shooting I've been doing, it hasn't been a problem. And I also have much more compact microphones like the Comic Attract shot. So those would be less bulky, but even with a kind of a big, chunk of foam on the gimbal like that uh, it hasn't really uh, you know caused an issue here's this just from behind so sort of the operator view if you will now the canon vixie hfr 800 doesn't support a camcorder monitor so the best you're going to be able to do ever is with the little lcd monitor that's part of part of the camcorder but yeah it's not it's not really hard to see what you're doing this is rig here is the rig from the side you can see the Ronin and Saramonic logos there and just so that you can see as well where the Canon Vixia or how much space it takes up and this is definitely why um, these uh, gimbals from DJI and other companies they're really intended for DSLR and mirrorless and that kind of form factor um, fortunately the Vixia HF R800 is a pretty compact camcorder as they come but you know you couldn't get I don't think like a prosumer camcorder up there just isn't enough space so um this that's where i have it mounted and that's how this looks like from sort of a side perspective uh here's what it looks like from a front perspective just so you guys can see how this rig looks from all proportions now the big problem if you will with this rig is that it's heavy um the more you know to state the obvious the more stuff you add on to the gimbal the heavier it becomes and yeah it does get a bit tiresome when you're operating this kind of a thing for 40 minutes. So now here is the next step in the rig is adding a light. So I just added kind of a Ulanzi RGB light to the side, but you know, it, this is really solid. And of course there's that quarter inch at the bottom of the uh, Ronin SC and you can actually daisy chain. So you can put a few DJI, you can put a few of those extension poles together. Um, and you could put a much bigger light, a much bigger camera light on the side. And you can also uh, tilt it up if you use an ex uh, an ex accessory. And again, I'll show that accessory at the end. 
But um, I mean, this is great if you're doing an interview um, from my perspective as a sort of amateur hobbyist learning videographer. If I can get a really big light on the side that I can tilt about and change the color temperature and a decent microphone and a camcorder, I feel like you have everything you should need there to shoot decent um, interview footage without needing to sync anything up in post because you're recording straight into the camcorder. Here is the rig with the light illuminated. Again, just to sort of give you a feel for what this looks like. I haven't, this is just me trying to hold my smartphone while I try to hold the gimbal. So nothing is set up wonderfully, but if I was using this on a real subject, I'd probably be using something like an extension uh, bracket and I'll show those in a second. Here's what it looks like from the back. And as you can see, this kind of gives you a sense for how chunky the setup is. It's heavy, it's chunky, but on the plus side, if you're a crew of one, you know, you're obviating the need for someone to uh, operate a boom pole or operate lighting. I'm not saying the results would be necessarily the same. I'm just saying that as a as a big old chunky all-in-one setup, this kind of gets you all your key accessories. Here's the setup with sort of me leaning to the side of it to try to keep everything stabilized. Okay, so the two things that I find useful in conjunction with a setup like this, um, and these aren't affiliate links, I'm not promoing, I'm just sort of showing you guys uh, the rigs I've been working on so far. So firstly, this thing by small rig is really handy. This has, as you can see, a cold shoe at the bottom and a quarter inch on top and a little bit of um, a little bit of distance. And when you undo that bolt in the center of the screen there or that screw cap, then the whole thing loosens up and you can flex around. So this is great for something like a light or actually a microphone because you can just sort of get them at like the proper angle facing your subject and play around with that. So. Uh, these are, as you can see, twelve dollars. So um, I've uh, I've got a few of these in my in my camera gear box. And uh, the second thing that I find really helpful is these uh, Ulanzi things, uh, triple cold shoe adapters. It just allows you to get more gear on one shoe. So if you have two cold shoes on the edge of your gimbal and you've got uh, three to one on each, well, technically you've got six accessory shoe fittings to try cram stuff into and onto. Um, finally, here is the cold shoe mount um, that I bought from, again, from Small Rig. And uh, you just put two screws in and you sort of, uh, you know, screw that into the gimbal. And then you've got two cold shoes on the side. And again, once you have that cold shoe, you can kind of um, do a lot. You can get a cold shoe to quarter inch adapter. You can get a cold shoe to GoPro adapter. It kind of just the sky's the limit once you have a baseline standard camera connector on the rig. I uh, hope that was useful. This is just what I've been sort of, I mean, I'm as I've made clear, I hope on this channel many times, I'm just learning video and I just make these videos to sort of document the stuff I'm figuring out in case it's helpful to other people who are on the same trajectory. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.